Is it pronounced seizure or seizure? Seizure? Yo, what's good people, it's man like Jamo. We're out here with a product from a company I have never heard of in my life. It makes sense to be honest, because they're one of them Kickstarter companies. They're called Seizure, or Seizure, C-Z-U-R, in it. Put the links to their website in the description section below. But they hit me up with this multifunctional device, fam. Now, it starts off as a document scanner, and I thought, yeah, whatever, that's kind of cool. But then I deeped that it has a second life as a webcam, a webcam that has quite a lot of features that ordinary webcams don't give you, which makes it quite legitimate for doing a little piece of game streaming. Let's get it boxed, see what's really good. Now I can't lie, inside the box these man keep it nice and simple. Literally some quick start guide thing. You get a USB A to USB C adapter. And of course you get the Caesar Fancy S Pro itself fam. Starting off with the looks and feels of the device, I can't lie, the thing is looking and feeling premium. I like the fact that just like the Logitech Litra Beam as well, it hardly takes any space when it's folded down. Like look how thin the thing is fam. It literally stays in its little corner, it's not troubling anyone. The USB cable here looks quite long, it's not detachable though, which means if you mash up this cable, you've mashed up the whole device in it. So try and take care of this cable as best you can. Now I can see here, we've got the little webcam and it's got a little light down there as well. What's really dope though is you've got buttons here, which means you don't even have to really use any software to be using this as a webcam. You've literally got a button for the light, button to flip the camera 360 or 180, sorry. <laughs> um, you've got exposure, brightness, and you've got like a tracking feature thing as well. And you've also got these little um, joint adjustment things here as well so that you can make the um, resistance of the joint a lot stronger or a lot weaker kind of thing depending on how often you're going to be moving it up and down and um yeah man that's it you got like a little rubber feet on the bottom as well to stop it sliding around it's a nice little simple design so when you want the webcam thing man will just have it like this or you can have it like this or you can have it down like this um you can have it at whatever level you want your webcam and that's something you don't really get with other webcams that you use for stream they usually just in the position that you slap them in but obviously this one can be adjustable all right people and this is what it's going to look like when you're using the fancy s pro as a web camera doing a little bit of game streaming as far as i'm concerned right now looking at this image everything looks fine like we've got the game running at 60 frames per second i've got the web camera running at 1080p 60 frames per second it can go up to 4k but at 4k the frame rate is like 15 to 20 frames per second so it doesn't make the most comfortable viewing experience i always prefer a higher frame rate or at least 60 frames per second and to be honest i think twitch can only even handle 1080p 60 maximum resolution and frame rate anyway so there's no point really going over that if i want to do the full screen thing we want to do a just chatting thing boom yeah do the full screen thing this is what it kind of looks like yeah no no i'm definitely feeling it what you're listening to right now as well is my blue sonar microphone i'm going to switch over to the microphone on the web camera actually give me a sec boom yeah 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 so we're using the microphone on the web camera right now it's about to sunset in the game i think the microphone on the web camera sounds about how i'd expect a microphone on the web camera to sound um it's okay it's bog standard it does what it does right now it hasn't got any noise suppression on it and it's right next to my desktop so you might be hearing my fans in the background however if man puts the noise suppression on like you've got in microsoft teams or discord um this is what it's going to sound like all right there we go people so we're still using the microphone on the web camera but now we're using the noise suppression thing. Let me know how it sounds. I've often found that the noise suppression thing can make a bog standard microphone sound almost as good as an XLR thing like this blue Sony here from Logitech, in it? So um, yeah, this is my voice. I'm just chatting nonsense now so you guys can hear the quality as opposed to how it sounds with no noise suppression as well. 
microphone and the camera web camera is obviously still in the same place anyway let's move over to that scanning feature because that looks quite useful for the office place isn't it now let me show you the scanning thing here obviously you put your document underneath it as you can see my document is upside down at the moment so man presses one button on the thing and we flip the document the right way up and then all you gotta do now is press the scan button boom that page is scanned that page is scanned from all right what's this page seven yeah all right where's the scan button gone let me line it up okay boom now another sick feature that i didn't realize before guys is that in the bottom right above the scan button is an automatic page turn detection scan button so when you got that done you just turn the page here and the thing automatically scans and adds it to the gallery fam you see it being added to the gallery there in the top right that's the, this is the gallery right here boom you see it being added automatically man it's just turning the page fam and the thing is being added that is ridiculous man can literally scan a whole thing imagine just slapping down a document that you need to scan here yeah, and it automatically scans to your computer ready to be emailed to whoever it needs to be emailed to like i'm not trying to work yeah but i understand working smarter and not harder and that seems to be exactly what this thing is doing anyway let's go look at the quality of the scans that this thing is kicking out fam. man this is therapeutic fam all right people let's see what the quality of the scans are saying fam how do i get this up okay okay loki it's got a color and everything let me just drop another one yeah 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 that's that's pretty much what it looked like let me try one of the double ones okay this page looks a bit wonky but the scan is still there let me see this one yeah that, that's a perfect one there right that is a perfect one damn mm -mm. Yeah, 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 that one's sick as well. It's mad. It's mad, guys. I know it's just a scanner. You can see my fingers on this one. Yeah, you can see my fingers where I try to hold the page down. I try to hold the page down for some of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want those fingers showing in front. It'll be sick if there was a feature that kind of dropped out your fingers if you're holding the page down from turning. But yeah, as you can see. Ah. Obviously, for pieces of paper, it's not going to be an issue. This is just for books. You can see a little bit of the top there. But it's, this is not bad, considering the fact that it was automatically scanning these from mad quick as well. Like, I, I ain't really got no complaints. If it's a document, obviously, you're not going to be scanning storybooks. But if you're scanning a document real quick, one piece of A4 paper, bam, slap that down. You're good to go, really, innit? Do you know what? I'm not mad at the fancy S thing, fam. Like, the naming scheme is a bit weird, but the amount of functionality that this little product has is definitely not something to sleep on. Like, let's say, for example, the scanning, the document scanning functionality here. Yeah? Deep, fam. The fact that you can automatically turn the page and it knows that it needs to scan the next page automatically, sends it to your computer. You don't have to wait for it to go over the network at work kind of thing and you've got that file on your computer to email or save wherever you need it to save to same thing with the web camera 1080p 60 is decent enough especially when you consider the, the maneuverability of the web camera stand itself isn't it the only thing that's a bit snaky with the web camera and you know man has to speak his mind on it i said before when you read their um advertisement kind of thing it says multifunctional 4k usb document camera now in my head i've heard 4k web camera i know that's not what they've said specifically but in my head i've heard 4k web camera so i'm expecting it to shoot in 4k which it does but the 4k is in 4 by 3 ratio it's that square thing that man had earlier and it's maxed out at 15 frames per second which looks hella low quality i would always prefer a higher frame rate so if you go down to 1080p you can get 60 frames per second in obs you can't get 60 frames per second at 1080p in their own software for some reason which is a bit weird but in obs which is what most people are going to be using for streaming you get your 1080p 60 which is more likely to be in line and in speed with whatever game you're streaming in the first place anyway fam so yeah as a web camera 1080p 60 it's definitely on job it's just that it would have been nice if it was a 4k thing especially as they've got 4k 
all over the product page. Me personally though, I'm gonna be using it as a top down camera for my YouTube videos fam. I've already got one camera in the studio in it. So normally if I want a top down shot, I gotta move my camera from wherever it is into a temporary top down shot location. Vice versa, if I want to move it back from the top down shot location into a little, I don't know, somewhere where it's facing my face, I've got to now go and move the camera back again. So it'll be nice to leave this camera in top down mode, do my top down shots and have my other camera film in my face at the same time. And that's it guys, I can't lie man, for what this product does, the amount of functionality, I don't get excited about B2B products like this fam, but the fact that it's doing everything is crazy to me fam like literally it's your microphone it's your web camera it's your document scanner like what what does it not do <laughs> do you get it and it's so small to fold it away and it's also kind of portable at the same time it's got a little light on it fam again what does it not do you tell me